KE0DSD and 0KTZ. Testing comms, helmet to helmet, three feet away, over. I gotta adjust the volume in my head, man. Solid copy. Uncle Fred had a fire in his ATV yesterday. Oh boy. What a way to start a vacation. First order of business is to fix the wiring. So, tell the viewers what the heck happened over here. I don't know. This is some part of the factory wiring. And it was up and against this metal bracket for the... Oh. There's, I'm okay. There's a step down there. Uh, there's a metal bracket here that holds down the battery, and it was rubbing against that. So I've kind of rerouted those wires over here. They were like rubbing right here. And uh, this is the wire that um, rubbed through and shorted. That was your temporary fix to get that it was off the, the tem trailer? Temporary fix just to get it off the trailer. So we get here. Get my quad off the trailer. Time to get Fred's off. Turns the ignition key on. And smoke starts billowing out of his front end. Flames four feet tall. Melted the entire front end off. We had to take a deep breath, collect our thoughts. Fred put the uh, temporary fix on there so we can at least get it off the trailer up here into the shade because it was about 300 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're going to go take a look at some waterfalls or something and figure out what kind of the trails look like at higher elevations. Apparently there's like 20 feet of snow up there. I don't exaggerate on my videos. It's made in America, isn't it? Yeah. So when you saw the smoke billowing out from the front end, how did you feel, Fred? <laughs> uh, like it being the first second we pulled into camp, yeah, <laughs> my bike's on fire. Yeah, it was horrible. I was like, yeah. I didn't feel hurt. so bad. Mine was off the trailer at that point. Yeah, Rusty's like, I'm just gonna continue about my day. Good luck. We'll put that on the list of things to pack in the toolkit: wiring, crimpers, ring terminals. We had electrical tape already. Any fire? No fire. It fired right up though. We'll let Uncle Fred there uh, get a little bit ahead of us. Well, I'll tell you what, this is a beautiful country here. You thought I like it? I like it. Look at the uh, nice meadow on the side of the hill there. The rock formations coming down. A nice deep cut valley into the canyon there. Nice. It's red if you can see him. Down out there. And zero KTZ. Hey Fred, got a good shot of you climbing that hill there. Nice job. Yeah, that's uh that's far that's pretty far down there. Yeah, it's pretty here. I like it. I'm glad we found this uh, Pine Creek cabin location. It's right at the trail system. It's quiet. Looks like the road to Big John Flat is closed. The 123. So we'll be taking the... Uh, 
113, uh, I see a sign behind Rusty there that says that uh, it is part of the 01, so then we're heading towards Silver King Mine, so here we go. Well, there's something here on the right-hand side that we missed, but uh, I'm coming up behind you. trail or whatever it was that was on our right hand side I was saying we missed that probably would have went right off the cliff <laughs> because you know it's so different it's different than Colorado and um, the rock formations are you know a lot more interesting here I think and the um, the caverns or the the uh, canyons are deeper cut you know very uh, very dramatic looking I love it here The outhouse crapper review. Uh, screwed. All right. Well, I guess that's a zero. Well, what's down there? Here's the real mine. There's a structure down over there. This is Here's the mine Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it's, I guess there's a trail here That you can take that takes you to where actually the mine is Oh, uh, I just saw the mine shaft up there Yeah If you go up and follow the footpath to the left, there's a mine shaft. So off trail riding is uh, uh, no bueno here in Utah.
Okay, yeah, I remember that in the uh, in the Utah uh, Division of Wildlife there in the training course uh, where it was stay the trail. Now that you mention it, um, but uh, I'd like to visit some states where we can just go off into the woods. You know, how you liking that new helmet? You I got love some. It. Got some miles on it today. Yep, fits great. Feels good. I can close the visor, open the visor. You know. What size is it? 10X? Yeah. <laughs> At least. No, really. What what size head do you wear? It's there? a 3X. 3X, yeah. And it's nice and roomy. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say it's roomy. It's got you know. Cushy. It's cushy. It feels good. Yeah. It's not no hot points or pressure points anywhere. Uh, it's pretty good. It's a Bell. Um, uh, MX-9 Adventure. Bell MX-9 Adventure. Cool. Yeah. Hey, nice stickers you got on there. Yeah. KE0 DSD is on YouTube, everybody. <laughs> Go sub them up. You need some love over there.